Welcome. Here we go. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to evaluate for the angle of cotangent theta when it equals 5. So when I see cotangent, automatically I think of cotangent as the reciprocal of tangent. And one thing when dealing with trying to figure out you know, our angles, we got to remember what does our tangent represent. So remember, tangent of any angle represents the opposite divided by the adjacent. So therefore, the cotangent function, it being the reciprocal of that, is going to be the adjacent side over the opposite side. Now, we do have a little problem here because I only see 5. I don't see a ratio of any two numbers. So one thing we can look at, though, cotangent of theta can really actually represent, instead of 5, we can represent that as 5 over 1. Now, so how is this going to help us out? Because now we know that the adjacent side of, a, of my angle theta is 5, and the opposite side of my angle is equal to 1. So therefore, if I want to be able to figure out the rest of the trigonometric functions, that's actually what we're looking into doing is evaluating the rest of the trigonometric functions, what I need to do is I need to create a right triangle. So I'm going to create my standard right triangle with my angle theta. Here I have a right angle. So therefore, the adjacent side is 5, and the opposite side is 1. Now, to evaluate the rest of the trigonometric functions, we know that tangent is opposite over adjacent, cotangent adjacent over opposite. To find the rest of them, we need to figure out what our hypotenuse is or our radius. So to determine that, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'll say 5 squared plus 1 squared equals r squared as our hypotenuse would represent our radius um, if, in dealing with an angle. So therefore, I have 25 plus 1 equals r squared. 26 equals r squared. Square root, and I look at this and I say uh, the largest square number that goes into 26, not having anything go in there. So r squared, or r, is going to equal the square root of 26. So now that I have my radius of square root of 26, well, tangent is going to be fairly easy to represent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so that'd be, or tangent of a theta is 1 fifth. The sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 over square root of 26. Remember to rationalize the denominator. So therefore, we have square root of 26 over 26. So the cosecant, the reciprocal of that, is going to be t square root of 26 over 1, which is just equal to square root of 26. Therefore, if I now find the secant of theta, secant of theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, 5 over square root of 26. Rationalize the denominator, and I get 5 times square root of 26 over 26. And therefore, the secant, oh, what am I doing? That's the cosine. Therefore, the secant of theta is going to be the hypotenuse over my adjacent, which will be square root of 26 over 5. So when given a trigonometric function, you want to make sure that you create your triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem to find your missing side of your triangle, and then you can reevaluate the rest of your trigonometric functions. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.